and welcome to my youtube channel my name is maria habila i'm a northern nigerian lifestyle vlogger so this recipe is how to make masa as you have seen in the thumbnail first of all let me pro introduce myself properly i am maria habila northern nigerian lifestyle vlogger i also talk about relationship yeah so if you're not subscribed please subscribe down below hit the notification bell so you can get notified anytime i upload interesting videos let's get into this thing these are the ingredients you will need okay just screen grab it i have written it out for you these are the ingredients you will need to make your masa and soup first and foremost we need granules granules is one of the king ingredients okay this soup is called mian toshe or just normal mia like mian masa so what i did is i put my pan on fire just so that um the pan can heat up and then put in my granules just to check if there's death inside granite or something this is already ground that we have kept in the house so we use it regularly we just tie it into packs so that we can pick and just use okay so yeah um just put it inside the pan make sure the pan is hot and don't do it on that too much heat because your granite is going to burn and you don't want your granite to be burnt okay so just spread it let it get hot you know and just you just keep turning it really you keep turning the granite until the granite is ready the back you just be hearing pretty 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 like some kind of very funny sound that's how <laughs> you know that this granite is ready because i don't know how to say you just be cracking the pew will be cracking and then that's how you know your granite is ready and then you turn off your heat when the granite is ready do allow it burn again so turn off your heat when the granite is ready and then set aside for it to cool okay yeah just dropping it one side then here are my ingredients this thing eh, is these are my plenty tomatoes i like to use because i don't want plenty pepper and i'm adding some atarugu this thing is uh, people call it habanero like scotch bonnet or habanero i don't know i like the atarugu atarugu in hausa atarudo in yoruba uh, i don't know what even how do people call pepper and gloria what do you call pepper in your your potacot language <laughs> let me know in the comment section okay now we're just going to wash down our tomato and pepper just wash it and prepare it cut it and keep it so now this is to prepare the meat usually um you just need whatever you like to spice up your meat but i like to use some garlic onion ginger and some atarugu as well so that the pepper can be peppery the meat can be peppery do you understand like if you want to eat pepper eat it well okay so this is my meat and i'm putting inside my uh, on top of the oven or on top of the stove i've already cut cut my tomato onion and pepper and now i'm peeling up my granite this is how you have to peel up the granite because you don't want to um peel spoiled ones okay there are some granite that are spoiled and some would not eventually when you peel it you shall grind it or pound it or blend it however you like and to come out like this now it's time for me to prepare my soup my meat is already ready i have set it aside so yes fresh clean pot on fire while i start up the cooking now i have to use some red oil because yes that's the only thing you can use to make me and toshi or masa soup as people call it red oil you allow the oil to heat up very very well the oil has to be very hot because you want to fry out your kayamiya okay tomato pepper onions and some other things like all these things for soup we call it kayamia i'm now putting in my onions first so that the onion can just you know send in some very nice aroma into the soup and now it's time to add my tomato and pepper see plenty tomato but small pepper so i'll put it now hmm. now now the work deal you will fry you will turn it you shall turn it and then allow it to remain until it is ready but this is not ready for now so we are still turning we allow it on fire until you are satisfied in your spirits that your kaimia is ready after frying all of this you have to check oh, because sometimes this thing can burn now i just added my meat into it because i set aside my meat most people use bone but we didn't get to use bone so i had to just use meat we didn't get bone and i added my stock cubes now you see just add your stock cubes or maggi or no or reiko or whatever and then you add i just added my 
chicken stock my meat stock not chicken i use goat meat so meat stock to the mixture and i'm going to just allow it to boil one thing i want to say out here is most times for this meal to share actually master soup when you even go you can hardly find meat there they will sell it for you a bone because you want to eat masa with bone now that it's ready i'm adding my granite this soup is very easy like i mean it is one of the easiest soup to make and then i put my vegetable okay this is how it is for some other people in other parts of nigeria like in adamawa we like to use meal we like to use um og we don't we don't use ogu for this but this is ogu we like to use um spinach normal spinach that you put no as a, a, a four we call it aleho aleho and yakua that's what we put in it you put your yakua first that is if you're using your yakua and then you put in your aleho later but because this is ogo i'm just turning it we, i couldn't get um the leaves i was looking for so yeah and you have to do this on low heat too if not <laughs> your leaf is gonna burn it's, it, all the my mother as my mother is saying ingredients will die the nutrients will die so this soup is a watery soup you don't want to make it thick it is what show me show me your bubble am i correct yes you have to make it watery and your soup is almost ready you test and you know just turn it and make sure everything is doing fine everything is okay and your soup is ready moving on this is the rice you are used this yeah you are going to use i say you are used this is the rice you're going to use this rice is not parboiled so you wash it and you soak it okay this is not the regular parboiled rice used to make rice and stew or jollof rice mm -mm. this one is the one that is not parboiled they just peeled it and kept it for you grinded so it's not fine like rice it's i seen it's grinded like that small 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 so chunkly chunkly so this is the rice you will need you soak it you wash it and then you set it aside and you take it to go and grind okay um this is the pan we used to fry masa so it's not regular frying pan or frying pan this is called casco casco masa casco is like um a pan so casco masa this is what we used to make it it comes in different shapes sizes colors and forms no colors don't mind me it just comes in different sizes this is a size of 19 so you can come in six you can come in five you can come in four you can come in three i don't know if you can come in three don't mind me but this is what you use and you don't wash it too what how you do it is you wash merely you're done and you keep it you heat it on fire and then you keep it you don't wash it and keep it you wash it heat it and drop it and then when you want to use you clean it up with tissue and then heat it up again or you clean it up but you don't want to use water to wash it's not that you have to cover it okay you don't want to use water if you use water the next time you're going to fry it it's going to be sticking to the um, pan so yeah this is how this thing works it's tricky but you can do it for massa for the love of massa can i hear you say for the love of massa <laughs> now okay this is how it's done i see you clean it and then you put it on fire this is the mixture okay i did not show you guys i don't know i was sleeping when this mixture was done so you put in your yogurt your yeast your baking powder a little salt and a little sugar don't put don't put sugar others just put salt but this is both sugar and salt and ye yeast you allow it to swell to rise a bit and it's ready okay so you leave it till it's it's risen enough like jesus christ god have mercy on me so this is how you fry it you put oil in the pan and then you now start following it one by one to fill up the spaces okay that is how you fry your master that is why this master is kind of expensive when you're trying to buy it though because hey this thing is stressful then you begin to turn and because this thing is fire like this it will bomb burn your hand thank god i did not do this work because i'm sure i would have burnt my hand a thousand and one times so you have to learn to be tricky about it use a small spoon some people have a kind of spoon they use but yeah we just use regular teaspoon and you have to put in oil sometimes it can be sticky so you have to put in oil to make sure that it doesn't stick to the pan and turning it would be easy even though turning this thing hmm. turning it is not easy it is not easy at all so 
Yeah. So, as I said, and this master can be very tricky. Sometimes you you turn the main fire is too much, it's going to come out undone. Like inside the back will burn, but inside like this, you'll just open it and just see paste inside. So you have to be careful to make sure that it's done. Most times you hit the back. I'll show you what patience will do when she's about to turn is finally to pack it up. You'd have to just turn it in a way that uh, you hit it when you hear like doom doom doom, you know that it's ready. <laughs> Jesus. I could I hope I don't lead people's children astray. <laughs> you shall know that this thing is ready by the time you turn and turn and you feel it's okay. Medium heat as I said, not plenty fire. And then this is ready. We are just packing it into our pan, our plate, and then into our flax so yeah we're turning it like that and see this master tastes so good you guys will try it please anywhere you are just look when this pandemic is over go and look for where you can get master and buy master we like to use firewood for this thing because yeah there's a gas one but firewood nice sweet pass firewood nice sure pass so um master is ready just see it's looking so yummy and delicious and very inviting and i want to show you guys something okay this masa can be taken with a lot of things but these are the major ones we used to take it in other nigeria you can use sugar and because i want to show you guys my preference i'm trying all except for my channel so yeah you're yeah, using sugar sugar was entering my head very well i like i like taking it with sugar but then let me wash it down and then try another one i want to try it with what with something tada hey <laughs> hey so i'm trying to test it now look at my facial expression this girl <laughs> sometimes i just look at myself like are you sure everything is all right <laughs> but yes everything is totally fine i prefer my sugar so i reached out for my sugar and i'm going to finish that one piece with sugar Another thing people used to take it with is my channel. Most times with the soup, they will mix it with my channel and enjoy it. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure you drop a comment and subscribe if you have not. I'll see you guys in my next video. Enjoy. There's nothing as nice as that. Best breakfast you could ever imagine.